the Honorable President of the Senate, distinguished senators, dear colleagues, members of government, distinguished personalities, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to thank Mr. President of the Senate for giving me the floor. I wish also to thank Madam Senator Regina Mundi and members of this prestigious upper house for your interest in matters of higher education of the Republic of Cameroon, our dear and believed beloved country. The question addressed to me by Madam Senator Regina Mundi touches on several issues, including but not limited to the suspension of the doctorate PhD programs in the higher education system. The career of the doctorate PhD programs, the career of the teachers, and the issue of quality assurance and socialization within the system. Before I respond to her seven questions, I wish to emphasize that the missions to have a clear appraisal of the situation, this cannot be an indication that our doctorate training programs are mediocre. No, anyone can verify that quality of our training programs via the performance of our projects in and out of the country. Because a lot of work has already been done in terms of quality assurance and the rationalization of selection into such programs. I have, I, what I can say, you tell you is that I have written to the hierarchy for the suspension to be lifted. And we are waiting the reply. Two, concerning the suspension of the salaries of certain staff of the higher education system, the rules and regulations in force I scrupulously respected. The Minister of State, Minister of Higher Education, does not make decisions in the vacuum Universities and the Ministry of Higher Education have services whose responsibility is to study such issues and after due respect of the law, send their proposals to the Minister of State for action. Three, as regards payments concerning supplementary hours and academic duties of the teaching staff, thesis supervision, and other academic duties. There are, these are regularly paid by universities according to the financial means available. However, given the huge academic debt for teachers for the past years, we are working with the Ministry of Finance to find an appropriate solution to this problem in the nearest future. Four, with regard to allowance of the modernization of research grants allocated by the President of the Republic, Head of State, to teachers of the higher education system since 2009. This is paid regularly at the behest of the Minister of Finance, 
every semester. Five, each teaching staff of the higher education system, be it assistant lecturer, lecturer, associate professor, or professor, has a specific teaching load fixed by the faculty concerned and depending on his level of responsibility. The higher a teacher goes in the administration at the university, the less uh, is teaching load and no matter, no teacher can teach in a domain which is not his own. Six, as far as appointments are concerned, it is important that to note that they are done the, the basis of merit and competence. It is a discretionary act that is always based on objective criteria, competence, merit, qualification, specialization, gender. Seven, on the lack of adequate infrastructure, which Madame the Senator thinks negatively impacts in the training of doctoral candidates in our universities, that cannot be true because from 2007 to 2023, the state has spent 97 billion francs on infrastructures and the purchase of laboratory equipment in state universities. In the same manner, six billion francs, CFA, is the amount here marked in 2024 alone for infrastructural facilities in state universities without exception. You, and you know that now you have 11 state universities. Overall, I wish to reassure Madam Senator Regina Mundi that the higher education system is functioning well. There is no dysfunctionality and we are resolutely operating in respect of the annual academic calendar of the year. In spite of normal challenges, we are all aware of. Besides, the higher education system is working hard to ensure that the prescriptions of the new higher education policy enacted into law by the President of the Republic, Head of State, His Excellency Olbia, to erect at entrepreneurial universities and create student entrepreneurs notwithstanding this domain of study becomes a reality in the entire higher education system. To borrow Madame Senator Regina Mundi's own words, I quote, the university is the powerful institu institution which grooms the agriculture, scientists, social scientists, policy makers, business leaders, entrepreneurs, public servants, end of quote. Thank you sincerely for this opportunity you gave me.